So like Linda Ronstadt sings, it's so easy to fall in love. We got the Himalayan here. We're knocking the snow off of it. Let's go for a ride today. I love this Himalayan. Great. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Skit John Wheels here out on the Royal Enfield Himalayan today. Nice brisk morning. We're gonna head out and I'm gonna try to get these two wheels on the TAT, the Trans-America Trail. So about an hour and a half from my house. Um, you know, I'm not gonna ride the TAT for very long, but I would sure like to know where it starts in Teleco, which is the closest drop-in spot uh, from where I live. So that's the goal today. Uh, it's cool, crisp. I uh, got my heated gear on. It's working great. Let's go find this Trans-America Trail. That's comfortable riding today. Um, like I said, it's 35 degrees. Uh, it is, you can see by the flag up here, it is a bit windy. So I'm experiencing some cold winter weather riding and I'm very comfortable. I've got the heated gear on. I've got the thermals on couple pairs of socks, got my Harley Davidson boots on, little bit of a neck wrap here, um, and I can say I've been riding about 30 minutes now where I'm at now, and uh, it, yeah, it's comfortable. So 2022, um, yeah, it was an interesting year. I went from one bike to two bikes. I uh, got the Himalayan for a overall commute uh, to go all around town go to work back and forth and eventually eventually ride on the Trans-America Trail um, so let's hope that happens it's a big ask uh, you know it's like 2600 miles I don't know it's a, it's a lot of miles usually takes about three to four weeks to do it uh, will it happen this year I have no idea I don't know how I can get away from work that long um, so will it happen next year who knows it is on the horizon though, uh, got my whole life to do it, so a lot of preparation has to happen. Uh, I've got to end up learning how to camp out, learning how to uh, uh, cook, camp, do all that off of a motorcycle. Alright, still chugging on out here on Highway 72. Looks like we got about 41 minutes to go or 29 miles till we hit the Trans-America Trail. Yeah, it's cold today. Doing all right. Not complaining. So, the Trans-America Trail. Uh, yeah, that's a road. I probably spoke about it before on this channel. Um, there's some really neat YouTube videos about people who have done it. It's a trail um, just started because people wanted to ride off-road vehicles, motorcycles, um, you know, four-wheel drives, you name it. They wanted to go off-road, off the grid, but they did, they wanted to cross the country. They wanted to go from the East Coast to the West Coast. You know, it's not a trail that is marked and labeled, and this is the Trans-America Trail. It's kind of just being created by uh, people, adventurous, people that like to get out in, uh, on their motorcycles off-road. Uh, it starts in, I think, South Carolina. Uh, it could be North Carolina, I can't remember. It goes all the way across and finishes up, I believe, in Oregon. There's gonna be some of it that are just like this, but then there's gonna be other parts that are just gravel roads. Uh, then there's gonna be trails and dirt roads. I mean, it goes out to the Colorado, out across the Rocky Mountains. So it doesn't bypass anything. It's a it's a long journey. 
I think, uh, you know, usually about four weeks to do it. So that's quite a bit, you know, 30 days of travel, you know, on a motorcycle, on, on back roads going across the United States of America. So definitely something I want to do. Little stop today before I get to the tap for some coffee, some Starbucks. You can see that flag behind me there. It's windy, it's cold. This coffee was a good warm up for the hands. Yeah, that's pretty, look at that. Definitely snow on those mountains. Yeah, so I've not been out here before in this area. I'm wondering if my front camera is getting so cold that it just quits recording. Because at times it'll just stop and it's right out there in the wind. Yeah, battery low, okay. So it's time to stop and change batteries, but look at that. Man, that is so nice. Cold beer. You just set it outside today and it'll be cold. Let's unplug here for a minute. Alrighty, we're doing good. I kind of just threw everything in here today. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to get that later, aren't we? Alrighty, we got some snacks here. Ooh, I'm gonna enjoy that. Um, let's go with this battery. All right, quick little battery change. Looks like we've got about 15 minutes to get to Taylor Mountain. Um, probably about five minutes till our turn, and we hit the tap. All right. Let's go. Let's turn these puppies on. Get the mitts warm. It is windy. Look at that. Wind blowing. It is cold. I guarantee you the the wind chill factor today is probably 20s. Easily. Cherahala Skyway. Um, now that's another good ride. That's a ride I'm going to do in 2023 as well. Uh, the Foothills Parkway, the Cherahala Skyway, the Blue Ridge Parkway. Those are all 2023 rides this year. Those are all rides I'm going to do this year. All right, we're coming up on it here. Here we are. The beginning of the Trans America Trail and Teleco. I made it. Nice. As you can see, this is not really a two lane road. Oh, this is so cool. Officially on the tat. <laughs> now I just need to take it another 2,600 miles. And what, what tat trail or any kind of rural trail is not complete without a couch on the side of the road? We just always need to have a place to sit.
There we go, looky here. Oh yeah, we got a little washed out areas. I actually get to stand up on this bike. Yeah, so this is what I bought this bike for. Take these old roads, these old trails. I mean, that is steep there. Woo! really like this. made it to the Transamerica Trail. I've been on it now for about 20 minutes. I'm cold, my fingers are cold. It is definitely cooler up here uh, on top of this mountain. Uh, but yeah, uh, I like it. I like the way the bikes performed on it. Uh, a lot of rock. Uh, it uh, gets a little slippery, uh, but yeah, there's nothing out here. Time to grab a little bit to eat, a little bit to drink, and then get back on the trail ride for a little bit more and uh, then head back to Knoxville. So, so far, success. So peaceful and quiet. I don't hear anything.
Oh, here comes some Jeeps. Or a Jeep. I do not want to go off the side of this <laughs> of this trail. Not at all. Thanks for joining me on my ride today. It's been a blast. I'm definitely going to be on this trail some more and some others. But yeah, I'm excited to see what 2023 has in store for myself, for the Skitch on Wheels channel. Just see where adventure lies ahead. So thanks for watching. Y'all take care. Stay tuned. We got one more thing with Zoe. What are we going to do today, Zoe? Why don't put me in with the mouth? Well, let's have a look. got her some handlebar risers for the Royal Enfield Himalayan that I'll install in a later video. Let's see what else Zoe has. Oh wow! Some more parts for the Himalayan. Nice! So Zoe, when we open these, are you going to help me put it on the bike? No. What? So what we got are some SRC uh, motorcycle parts, company that makes them just for the Royal Enfield Himalayan. Uh, I'll make a video in the future. We'll take a look at these in that video. Hey, you're one more thing.